Hi, my name is Randy Becker. I'm an application engineer with Keysight Technologies. Today I'd like to give you a quick overview of our latest uh, signal generators and spectrum analyzers. I'll start over here with the VXG signal generator. This is a special signal generator because it's based on an all-direct digital synthesis architecture. And that enables the industry's absolute best uh, spectral purity and quality. And we'll take a look at a few measurements to highlight that. This instrument also has frequency coverage all the way to 54 gigahertz and two channel models. And you can also get four channel models with frequency coverage up to 20 gigahertz. So this is great for a variety of applications, including spatial multiplexing, MIMO, massive MIMO, uh, to name a few. So to start, I'll show you a couple of the new uh, features of the uh, VXG. And I'll start by generating a very simple uh, multi-tone signal. Before I show you the result of that, I'd like to show you the result of a traditional uh, vector signal generator using an IQ modulator architecture. And this is what every signal generator on the planet uses today. If you look at the top screen here, you can see that multi-tone signal, and it has been offset slightly in frequency so that we can see the images and LO feed through. And clearly, you can see the high level of images and the LO feed through, and even the high level of undesired uh, spurious signals in the out of channel. The uh, amplitude of these images is clearly limiting our dynamic range. Normally you'd think you have this much dynamic range, but actually have that much dynamic range. And that's going to impact fundamental things like the ultimate EVM that is achievable. If we generate that same signal on the VXG with the direct digital synthesis architecture, you'll notice that there are no images and absolutely zero LO feed through. And it might look like there's a few strange things happening here on the display. That's just some display aliasing based on the number of points that are displayed and the resolution of the band, the resolution bandwidth that I'm using. Uh, but this is absolutely image free because there is no longer an IQ modulator in this generator. Now let's take a look at the EVM performance. To do that, I'm going to change uh, my signal configuration to a uh, one component carrier new radio signal. And I'm also doing this at 28 gigahertz, which is a common FR2 frequency, and, I'll, and generating this at an amplitude of zero dBm. So I'll launch the VSA software and start the measurement. On the screen, you can see a variety of different measurements being made. In the left green trace, you can see the spectrum with a span just over 100 megahertz. In the upper left, you see the constellation diagram. So this is a 64 uh, QAM signal. And if we look at the EVM metrics, we can see here that the EVM of this component carrier is right at 0.2%, uh, which is a phenomenal result. You'll also notice that the IQ errors, the IQ offset, gain imbalance, and quadrature error, they're all showing star, 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 indicating that that quantity is unmeasurable. That's because there are no IQ errors, again, because that IQ modulator is no longer part of the architecture. Now I'm going to go back to the um, swept-tuned mode of the analyzer and we'll look at that down here, and I'll show you just a couple of the other interesting features of the source that has a phenomenal real-time uh, capability to it. So here you see the 100 megahertz component carrier that we're generating, but because we have a, a real-time processor, we can actually generate eight different signals at the same time with different sample rates, uh, different frequency and amplitude offsets and uh, play them out uh, uh, virtually uh, just like uh, uh, as if you had done this through software, but we're actually doing it through hardware, giving you access to uh, different ways of uh, uh, changing your signal configuration. So to do that, I'm going to first uh, recall a different setup file here that has a more interesting uh, configuration of signals. And now if we look at the display, let me set the span to be just a little bit wider here. I'm going to set it to the full 2.5 gigahertz bandwidth of the generator. 
And now you see seven different signals being played. Over here on the very far left, we see a GSM and edge signal separated by uh, two megahertz. Then we have a wideband CDMA signal with a bandwidth of five megahertz, a 20 megahertz new radius or an LTE signal, a 100, 200, 400 megahertz new radio compound carrier signal, followed by a 160 megahertz 802.11 AC signal. So these are spread out across the two and a half gigahertz of bandwidth. Now note, on a traditional generator, this signal over here on the far left would be causing an image over here that you would see, and likewise this uh, wireless LAN signal would be causing an image over here, and vice versa for all of these different signals. But you'll see that that spectrum is perfectly clean, and that's uh, one of the new uh, features of this generator is the, is the, the absolute uh, best uh, signal purity on the market. And I'll show you quickly here by moving over to the uh, generator. Okay, since we're generating this signal in real time, I can add and remove signals from the uh, composition at my choosing. So I'm just going to unselect a couple of those. And now if you look at the spectrum, they're uh, gone. I can add those signals back in very quickly. And uh, you see them there on the display. I'll further show you, I'll take that 802.11 AC signal and change the frequency offset here. Again, in real time, I'm gonna set the frequency offset from one gigahertz to zero hertz. And you can see that it moved from the far right back to the center of the screen. And that's possible because we're doing, again, these calculations in real time. If I come back to the uh, main vector uh, signal generator screen, I can turn on the eighth signal here, which is AWGN, that I've generated with a bandwidth just over one gigahertz. I chose that bandwidth arbitrarily, but it could be anything up to two and a half gigahertz. And I've also given it an arbitrary minus 200 uh, uh, megahertz offset just to show the flexibility of the system. So these are just a few of the new uh, features available in the generator and showcasing that with our uh, vector signal generator, or vector signal analyzer rather. One final note that I forgot to mention is that both of these generators and analyzers make use of new remote millimeter wave heads that can further extend the frequency range up to 100 gig, up, up to 110 gigahertz. So we have up converters that are used with the uh, generator and down converters that are used with the analyzer. So this makes a great uh, form factor and a great nice small package for moving uh, the uh, plane from the front panel here right to where you need to make the measurement at your DUT and minimizing those high signal losses at those uh, higher millimeter wave frequencies. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, contact Keysight.com. Thanks.